Hi everyone, this is Eli Duke and Phil Pan here at Hong Kong Club Cock Airport. And today we are flying with uh, Cathay Pacific on their Airbus A350 from Hong Kong to Brisbane in, in Australia. And um, I'm going to be giving you a comprehensive re review of the food, the seats, the cabin crew, as well as the pier, the flagship business class lounge of Cathay P Pacific here in Hong Kong Airport. So let's go to board the flight, but first of all, let's go to see the lounge and to see the whole experience. So at Hong Kong, there is a very co convenient system where you can check in your bags at Kowloon Station or Hong Kong Station and then take a 25 minute train ride to the airport. But you can of course also check in at the airport using the appropriate lines and if you're flying in first class or a gold card holder with one weld, you can use those first class counters where a staff member will take care of everything for you. It is interesting to see how Cathay Pacific has four different lounges at Hong Kong airport. The airport is very large and bright and there are plenty of high-end stores, How, however, food is rather limited. The terminal is also great for plane spotting. And so this is our plane taking us today to Brisbane. It's operated by an Airbus A350-900. And here is the Cathay Pacific De Pier Business Class Lounge, where business class passengers and silver members with One World have access to. Overall, the, the lounge is great. There are plenty of food options, a noodle bar, plenty of seating areas and great showers. So here I am in the lounge and um, I have to say that overall it's a really really nice la la lounge, it's, it's really big, there is a noodle bar, there are, there are different places for, where you can take snacks and beverages, there are a lot of seating air areas, there are showers, yeah it's a really good lounge and even the service, how they welcome you, it's, um, it's really Asian top notch style, Re really um, a huge jump up to the service in Europe uh, compared to the service in, Euro in Europe, so overall it's a huge thumbs up for the Cathay Pacific, the Pier Business Class Lounge. <laughs> Okay, so let's go to the gate number 45 to board Cathay Pacific flight number 157 to Brisbane. So welcome aboard this Airbus A350-900 which is configured in a 3x3 configuration across two cabins in economy class. On your seat each passenger will find a blanket, a pillow and a pair of headset. It's also great how every Airbus A350 is equipped with the onboard cameras.
A few moments after takeoff, each passenger was given a menu for the in-flight service, which is a really nice touch in economy class, as well as a customs and declaration form for all passengers arriving in Australia. So here are the seat features on the Cathay Pacific Airbus A350. First of all, there is a huge screen, an extendable platform for phones or iPads, a hook, a tray table, and a very large seat back pocket that could be used for personal items as well as the in-flight literature. The only thing I dislike about this seat is the tray table, which is pretty small and flimsy. Otherwise, it's a very comfortable seat. And the legroom on this airplane is very standard, so nothing of very special. And be aware that the floors on this aircraft were actually very dirty. This flight started with a beverage or a drink of your choice and some peanuts. The cabin crew team on this flight was very nice, they, they were smiling and being very professional. However, after the service meal was done, they disappeared and didn't really pass through the cabin with drinks or snacks. One of the only disappointing things about Cathay Pacific is the meal, which was very basic, however, it did taste good, so that's the most important in my opinion. For dessert, there was also move and pick ice cream, which I really appreciate. The seat back pocket was equipped with a safety card, a discovery magazine, a duty free ma magazine and a Wi-Fi information card. And in case you're wondering, yes, all A350s are equipped with the Wi-Fi on board, with more than 6 hours being $19.95, below 6 hours being $12.95 and 1 hour being $9.95. It's also great that there were some amenities in the bathroom to moisturize during the flight. And the in-flight entertainment of Cathay Pacific is in my opinion truly one of the best in the One World Alliance. Very co comparable to the Oryx One of Qatar Airways. There was pl plenty of Chinese and Western movies, Indian movies and plenty of other things to keep you in entertained. Especially the map was super cool. And isn't it great that you can go the other side of the world and be able to zoom in onto your home country? And then the pre-arrival me meal arrived. It's great how Cathay Pacific serves two hot meals on a flight short shorter than eight hours. The headrest was fully adjustable and very comfortable as well. job being professional so overall a big thumbs up for the crew of Cathay Pacific 
that food is all right. I would say the meals are a bit too basic, and I would definitely expect something um, more, less, even more luxurious from an Asian air airline. However, it tasted good, so that's the most important, I guess. Uh, the Infight Entertainment is probably one of the best in the One World Alliance. Uh, honestly, in my opinion, comparable to, for, for example, the Qatar Airways Oryx One Entertainment. So yeah, overall, it's also a really, really good um, entertainment and will definitely keep you entertained during the whole flight, especially the map is super cool. And also the washrooms are kept, are kept very um, clean. Uh, there's even the face moisturizer and the hand cream, which is generally meant easy with point in business class, so that's cool that you can find them here in economy. And there's also another thing on long haul flights with Cathay Pacific, for example, to America and to Europe. You can uh, order some snacks such as the noodle bowls, which are flights over 10 hours, but this is not available on shorter flights. This is still almost an 8 hour flight, however, unfortunately, it's not uh, a, let's say a long enough flight so that they serve those snacks. So that's the only thing on this flight, there are no snacks throughout the flight and the cabin crew do doesn't even pass this with drinks, which is uh, something you would expect on long flights. But otherwise it's a really good pro product and I could definitely recommend the Cathay Pacific Airbus A350. Overall, this was a really good good flight with Cathay Pacific, and I really do not have a major criticism. However, if you would like to know how, how good is their Boeing 777 and if it's as good as the Airbus A350, then stay, stay tuned for a future re review coming in the beginning of March of next year. Thanks, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, to like, and to leave a comment. It's always a pleasure. Thank you and bye.